about not having my first kiss, and it gets a lot of views. And, and one person that brand is your first kiss. You fo- you just <laughs> dropped that. Wait, you just dropped that. Is is your TikTok the real you? Freeze with his hands. You keep edging my pill. So <laughs> <laughs> didn't you do something like that? Walk in the room and I fly like a million fireflies. Today I have the world's worst Division One athlete, Brandon Dwyer, and the world's shortest person. But is it a lie? Give us another line. How are y'all doing today? What's up? Well, thank you for the electric introduction. Yeah, I don't. I don't know if he's the worst D one player ever. I mean, I mean, he doesn't spot. even play. That's true. I, I, would, would he be considered a player? Yeah, he might not. You know what? That's the thing. I don't even know if I would consider him D1 because he's just sitting on the bench all day. Wow. Yeah. You know, for the last like three weeks, all Haven's been asking me is, bro, dude, we have a podcast. Get on the podcast. Come on. And this is how you start the podcast. Yeah, dude, because wow. you're the worst player. Wow, that is. And you're the worst podcast. <laughs> I'm a great podcast host. <laughs> well, so you guys will be the judge of that. Hmm. So, so um, I was searching your name today on TikTok to see, you know, what do people care about you? And everyone wants to see your highlights. And then I click it. But it's just you on the bench. That that that's that's sad. Those are my highlights, though. I have highlights like that. Yeah, that's but the Brandon Dwyer highlights. The number one trendy thing is your highlights. But then when people click on it, it's just you on the bench, bro. Well, yeah, I don't. How have, many people do you have sending you videos of you just sitting on the bench? Too many. I'm, I'm too not. Many. I'm not gonna lie. Everywhere we go, um, whether it's home or an away game, I'll get at least one to three mixtapes of me on the bench. And what's your favorite? Celebration on the bench. Well, can, can I act it out? Can you yeah, hold, act can it you out. hold my microphone? Act it out. Hold Please your, act I'll, it I'll out. I want to see, I see this. So, so it's like when someone hits a three, obviously not me, but when someone hits a three, I do the bow and arrow back, threes Ooh. in both hands, and I go, boo. Okay, okay, that, that's that, just kind of that, that is definitely my favorite celebration. Okay. That yeah. or that are the two small, like I would do to small. Gibson or to you. I mean, I'm taller than you. No, but you're not in the paint. Look, what do you mean, not in the paint? You gotta lift some weight, man. Buddy, I'm stronger than you. You don't know what's under this hoodie. You don't know what's under this shirt. Just because I uh, broke my hand does not mean if I the hand is reveal like crust what's under the hoodie and the shirt. Kind of okay, that's okay, buddy. I think we need a Gibson under the shirt reveal. Uh, what is he boss. whispering, guys? You'll find out in post. <laughs> I actually didn't hear what the, what he said. That's yeah, good. I have no that's idea. Good. I was I was whispering to the audience, not to you guys. Oh, to me. So on the train of insults, uh, I would like to tell everyone something that I found out recently what? is that the D one school that Brandon goes to is called Dunk City. No, no. But fun fact, he can't dunk. He not only doesn't play, but he goes to Dunk City and he can dunk. So give okay. us a little elaboration on that. <laughs> I want to hear what Gibbs has to say. I actually, I actually have a funny story about this because I remember the very first day I met Brandon, or it was one of the very first days I met Brandon. We were filming at FGCU, and I saw Dunk City, Dunk City, Dunk City all over the walls. And I was like, dude, Brandon, can you dunk, bro? Like, let dunk, hit a dunk real quick. Show us a dunk. <laughs> hit because a dunk. my very first video with Brandon we made, it was about how I can't dunk because I'm too short <laughs> to was, dunk. It was, it was. So I was like, Brandon, hit a dunk real quick. And he was like, dude. I actually can't dunk. And I was like, bro, what do you mean? You're D1. You're 6'2", 6'3". Yeah. How can you not dunk? If I was your height, I'd be able to dunk. Well, you see, there's a couple reasons why. Very confident. One, first of all, nobody says, can you hit a dunk? (laughs) Well, bro. Second, second, um, I'm not, I'm a below the rim player. I like to shoot threes. Uh, I like to shoot jump shots. Well, you don't like to do anything. You don't yeah, play. You like to sit on the bench. For okay. Well, years. thank you guys. Thank you guys. I, I remember, you know, I love the love I'm getting <laughs> from my two friends right now. It, it's fantastic. Yeah. But yes, it is true to sit on the bench. I, I'm a below the rim player. I'm not an athletic player. I like to catch and shoot threes. I like to shoot threes. I like to shoot jump shots. I don't go in the paint. The paint is scary. There's seven footers in there. They'll, they'll block my shot. That's why I don't so go in there. How did you make D1? I can shoot the ball. That's, really that's well. all you can do. So if you just shoot the ball, guys, you will make... At, D1. At a, okay, at FGCU. <laughs> don't, don't simplify it like that. <laughs> if you shoot the ball at a very high clip, what's a clip? Okay, I forgot you guys don't play basketball. At a very high percentage. So, what do you think a good three point percentage is? If you would have guessed in game, thirty percent, forty six. Okay, you that was pre, that thirty percent is a pretty bad percentage. Forty six is a very good percentage. In high school, I shot forty nine percent from three. In high school, my senior year, so, so you made half the shots. So yeah, every for every you must not have taken that many shots then. I just can't win. I cannot win. I cannot yeah, you win. Know, thing I will you never can't win. win with is lies. So there's a lot of liars on TikTok. What's and it, the leading like? Okay, so like in the league right now. Wow, he just NBA. he just completely. Just he just completely what's, what's, I thought this like, was called Unsafe leading, Haven, not Gibson. Well, I'm sorry, I'm taking over here for a second. <laughs> what's what's like the leading like a really really high like three point percentage like in the NBA right now? I don't know the top one. I mean, I would just, I would assume people probably shoot over fifty percent. If like they're specialized, where so only Brandon's do is shoot there. threes. Brandon's up there. I See? Mean, a little See? bit. There, but, there's the respect. But, but there's the respect that I deserve. Might not be true, guys, because, oh, you know, on TikTok, 
A lot of people lie. I mean, I've lied about not having my first kiss, and it gets a lot of views. And, and, and one thing that Brandon lies about a lot. You don't have your first fo- kiss? You fo- You just f- dropped that? Wait. You just dropped that? You photoshopped. I didn't know that. Whoa, yeah. Uh, he photoshopped his stats, saying that he got points. Explain that, Mr. Photoshop. Right, okay, first of all, it's not Photoshop. It's inspect element on Google. <laughs> <laughs> that is what I did. I um, Actually, I didn't even do it. I had a fellow bench mobber, which is what I call my fans. Shout out to bench mob, by the way, if you're watching. I'm in the um, bench mob. See, see, Gibson. Shout out Gibson. I'm not in the bench mob. You're just a hater. <laughs> <laughs> um, one of them sent me my stats edited. I averaged 27, eight rebounds, seven assists. And he's like, bro, do you want to make a video with this? I said, absolutely. I made, a, I made about five, six videos with that. And it was fantastic. Uh, I don't know how people fell for it because it was the middle of June. It's not college <laughs> basketball season. And I now somehow average 27 points a game, but it seemed to fool most of the people. So, so I would if, take it. If you lied about that, then how do we know you're not lying about your 49% in high school? You can look that up on Huddle. Huddle? Huddle. You not know, know Oh, yeah, I forgot. You weren't a high school athlete. I actually was. JV captain for three years. <laughs> soccer. You know what? That's something. That's actually, something. no, no. I play club soccer at FGC, which is D2 level. You do play club just, soccer. I had, a, I had bad experiences with my coaches in high school. They were just mm. not not that good. You want, you want to touch on that? Touch on that? I mean, dude, I, okay, first year, freshman year, I was trying out summer tryouts. We're doing conditioning, stuff like that. The very first coach, he was great. He's like, you're going to make varsity this year as a freshman. Then wow. he, he got fired. The coach got fired. Some new coach came and I proceeded to be on JV for the next three years and then even when I was captain, they put me on JV for another year. Even though I was the captain last year, like the coach just hated me. So you were captain of JV, JV sophomore, twice? Yeah, I was ca- captain of JV sophomore year. And the next year, they made me captain again. And the captain's supposed to, like, varsity, obviously. But yeah, but, yeah, but they, they loved how good you were at your job. You were an elite JV soccer captain. So they had to keep you around for another year. Yeah, but the thing that's nice, though, is I actually made a team, the FGC club team, which would destroy that team. Like, destroy it. So it's like, I know for a fact that it was the coaches, not me. Which is kind of proof. Uh huh. That's congratulations, JV captain. Yeah. What about you? You're a track boy? Yeah. No, I ran track and cross country in high school. I just saw your, um, your one year ago today was like the track stereotypes. I remember when you first started track doing TikTok. Stereotypes. I, you you did didn't want to did be a dancer. Did you, you do that at FGCU? Kid? Did you do that no, at FGCU? No, 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 you didn't. I did not. Did you just, so. Didn't you do something like but, that at FGCU? No. Yeah, similar. I, I brought my spikes and it was like, there was a trend where it was like, Hey babe, you left your Adidas spikes oh, yeah, in my house, yeah, yeah, yeah. And, I had, and I like made a video like holding my Nike spikes, like, what? Like I, I'm a Nike guy, not it's a quality, Adidas it's guy. It's quality content, right? So now. Yeah. I remember how you didn't like you started off TikTok uh, about a year ago now, and you didn't want to be a person okay. like me and Brandon. You wanted to be like the track <laughs> no, guy. No, so like Brandon's content uh, is bearable. Yours was extremely cringe. Okay, well now yours that, that, is that extremely might be cringe. The, yeah, greatest com- the greatest compliment I've ever gotten. My but content is bearable. <laughs> it's bearable. <laughs> but, but, you know, the people want what the people want. So I had to deliver. You know, we, we started with the track content. You put that on a t-shirt. The people want what the people want. The people want, want what the people want. <laughs> Yo, I don't know. Yeah. Oh, anyways, uh, completely different topic. You know these water bottles? I'm not sponsored, but these Owala ones. I just saw a TikTok on my For You page where it's like this girl just made up a whole story about how they made, named it Owala because you look like a koala when you drink it. But she just made it up. I thought that was funny because I'm drinking from it. I've never heard of that in my entire life, and that was completely no. Have irrelevant. Have you heard of a Owala water bottle? Hey, man, that's a super cool story, Dude, what about man? the Stanley <laughs> stuff? <laughs> super I cool saw a video story. on my For You page where there's like a fight for Stanley Cups. What is the little girls in Stanley Cups? I, I, I'm not sure. I'm not really the market for a Stanley Brandon, Cup. Brandon, personally, you, what what brand of water bottle type of guy are you? Because everybody's got their own brand. Well, like, personally, I'm a Lululemon guy. I used to be a Yeti guy, but then all the lids kept breaking. Well, right so. now, um, I actually don't own a water bottle, you don't, uh, unfortunately. That is tragic. But I have this baby <laughs> right here, uh, sparkling water. Yeah, uh, it's delicious. Andrew Tay right there? You like sparkling water? I wouldn't yeah. say that is why, but I like sparkling water. It's very good. Yeah. Hi. Dude, my sister. Okay, weird, weird, weird things. So, you know, there's these fight for Stanley's little girls. But do you know what they, like, do with their Stanley's? My sister has, like, a little chapstick holder on her Stanley and charms. Like, they glue charms to it. It's, really? like, it's so weird. It's, like, actually weird. I- I don't really know what to say to that. I, wow, I really that is super weird, <laughs> and I never want to see your sister ever again yeah. after hearing that. Yeah. Everyone wants that, to see that my sister. That took a turn. Though. She's, you know, my sister's that banned from making videos weird. with us. I know. It's banned? really sad. I had a really yes. good video idea the other day that involved your sister and you, uh-huh. but can't do it because yeah. she's not allowed. All to my videos. comments, everyone wants to see videos of my sister, but like, 
our parents just won't allow her to be in any videos because she's so young and they don't want to be, to be exposed to all that. What else? I mean, that makes sense. I mean, I, I'm glad I didn't start doing social media until I was 19. So How old are you now? I am 20. How tall are you? I am six foot two, six foot three. We'll oh. go six three in oh, shoes. Oh, going to round up? Yeah, of course. You got to round up. I'm yeah, taller. I'm, you're, I'm you're, six, you're, six. you're taller than me. I, I, I yeah. know you're taller than me. I mean, if we're rounding up, I'm basically six foot. So <laughs> yeah, yeah. I, the, uh, what's it? What's the the rule? I mean, I'm, I'm for, five seven, but with shoes on, I'm five eight. But that's basically five nine because five eight is a really awkward number. But you can't be at an odd number, so I'm basically five ten. Mm. And we all know five ten is basically just five eleven. Mm. And you can't be five eleven because you're basically then just. Then you're foot. six foot. Yeah. So th- technically. I am six foot, which makes me only two inches shorter than you. Do you yeah. feel like being and, four and eleven makes you at a disadvantage when it comes to getting girls? No, I've seen him in person. Personally, I feel like if it was if it was a uh, you know just any random guy, yeah. But me, you're different. You're that I got guy. The, I got the four six Riz. The Riz. Like give, four, give us your best. Wait, how, riz wait, he just said you're four eleven. You said you're four, oh, four six. six. I mean four six. How tall are you? Yeah, why, why, are you uh, why are you trying to? Exactly I mean, he just rounded it up for you. Yeah, I rounded, I rounded up for you. Oh, yeah. So you just rounded up. How many inches did you just round up? Five. <laughs> yeah, you gave five extra. Five, five inches is a lot of inches. That's um, too pause. many inches. So pause. <laughs> pause. What is this? <laughs> what is get whispery? You'll see him pause. Yeah, yeah, you'll you'll see, see him pause. See. So Gibson, give us your best riz line that you use to okay, Gibson, make it so height doesn't matter. Girls just like you so much. I just say, sub shoddy. Boring. You are you? Oh. the most beautiful woman I've ever seen. <laughs> Simp. What's your success rate with that? Higher than your three point success rate. It's zero. So as long as you make one, as long as you make one, and that's all that matters. You miss one hundred percent of the shots you don't take, Brandon. That's that's a correct statement. And you're it's not a, making or taking it, any it's shots. It's a shame. Off the bench. I, I'm not able to take any shots. So it's, would you ever do a boxing match? Between me and Brandon? Yeah. I'd win. I would win. No, I would win. Gives us see it happen? Let's make it happen. I would win. Like, it's not even Brandon, close. Brandon, I would destroy you. You know like, you know, like when a little kid gets mad at the teacher and they just like put their hand on their forehead? That's what I would do to Gibson's you. Gibson's a black belt in Taekwondo swing. though. Did you know that? No, yeah, but if I, yeah, but if I get him like there, he's done. What is Taekwondo, bro? What do you do? Karate? You just completely made that up. No. <laughs> you're black belt. Black belt. He's you're black belt. Karate. Karate. Black belt in. You're black belt in karate. Yeah. You're karate, black belt in karate. karate. Yeah. Yeah, but Actually? I haven't done karate in like years. No, so he's falling off. I, I got you. Oh, he's, he's oh no, 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 no. Because I'm I've evolved. What does that mean? You went from four foot to four six. Like you know how you know how like Pikachu evolves into Raichu. I do know, but yeah, that is true. I evolved into what? I guess I'll have to find out, right? <laughs> I can't reveal. You, you that. can't reveal it until the fight. Yeah. yeah. Cause then he'll know like what type of Pokemon I am. He'll know how to counter me. <laughs> you just said you're a Raichu. <laughs> no, you just I told was, me. That was my metaphor. Okay, okay. Anyway, analogy. so <laughs> we were on the top of a topic of girls and Riz lines. I want to hear Brandon's Riz line now. I, I don't really have a Riz line. I'm bad with girls. I'm, I'm, I'm not gonna lie. I, I'm struggling out here. I've been single so you're, for so the last. So you're O for O in shots, and you're O for yeah, O in I, girls. I don't make shots on the court. I don't make shots off the court. I haven't had a girlfriend in what now? Almost five years. So uh, please hit me up. I'm quite lonely. You got cheated on, right? Yeah. Yes, I did. Okay. Thank you for bringing that up, by the way. Yes, I did. <laughs> let's let's get a story time on that. I would rather not because it was like five years ago and it was it pretty sad, wasn't anymore. it? You guys were together for two years, right? It was not two years. Why are you like, how? Do- Brandon, that was really sad, wasn't <laughs> it? That must Brandon, really suck. Brandon, for you. get in your feelings, please. Uh, get it's in good your content. Now we need a clip, bro. <laughs> <laughs> we need him. But girls, how big is your audience with girls compared to guys? Because you're a basketball influencer, but a lot of people think you're really cute. So, oh well, thank you, man. I didn't say I, I think, did. I think you're really cute. Gibson. Okay, well, See, that's why you're good. That's why Gibson's my favorite. They're like a married couple. Oh man. But we're having a boxing match. But we gotta <laughs> fight out our issues. It, maybe we should make it a wrestling match instead. No, I'd rather not. Do all right, that. all right. Um, okay. What, what was the question? What's your uh, audience? Girls or guys compared? Uh, on TikTok, I think it's like 65% male, 35% female. Wow. Instagram is about the same. And then Snapchat, it's fifty five percent female, forty five percent male, which is. I thought it'd be more female for cool. everything. Mine's eighty five percent female. Well, well, we all don't make only thirst traps. And I was gonna be like, since your audience is so much female, do you have like? I feel like you probably get so many DMs and all that, but like, but you probably don't then. Well, I do get a couple DMs, but I, I don't know. A lot of them are kind of creepy. I, don't really, I try what's not the, to answer. What's the creepiest DM you've ever, you've ever gotten? Um. I can't remember off the top of my head, but I really don't enjoy when they ask for feet or any vulgar pictures. Um, I always, I 100% leave those on red. There is no oh, where. You, you actually open them though. Well, I mean, if you look in your requested feed, you can like, gotta see yeah. what they say. But you don't like let them see that you've seen it. 
No, yeah. yeah. I'm not going to let... Well, now they all know that you you look at their DMs. Hey guys, and DM Brandon asking for feet pics because he will Please see don't. it. Please don't. Please don't look. You Please don't DM it. me and ask for feet. There's no way on the internet. My, my feet are not on the internet. I don't have a foot finder. I can sneak but a don't you have a foot finder? And s- I don't have a foot finder. Do you not? I don't have a foot finder. Which one of us they is a foot finder? actually called feet finder. They, they, they wanted to do a brand deal with me, actually, though. Feet finder? Before I was 18, Why I was didn't like, you do it? Why would I do a feet finder brand deal? How much bread? Was it a lot of bread? Haven, Haven, I'm not going to lie. Feet finder didn't reach out to you. That was just me, and I just wanted to see if you'd send feet finder. Burn your feet finder account. <laughs> oh my god! I just wanted to get it. But doesn't one of us have a feet finder? No one has a feet finder. Isn't that Jesse? Jesse, 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 Jesse's right. He's gonna see this clip and he's gonna be like, "I do not have a feet finder." Shout out Jesse for his <laughs> feet finder. Always, Jesse's a he always promotes it on his story. I always see him promoting it. What do you mean? He did not post it on his story. He's not posting his story. Is Are you sure? All right, guys. Jesse's a feet finder, guys. Go Everybody find Everybody Je- look up Jesse Tierney And if you want to see Brandon's feet and you want to pay me, I will sneak a secret picture he of He does not feet. have feet pictures I will send you pictures This is not Brandon's something feet. he has. I always wear socks. Did you say someone offered you like 10K for a picture of you laying down in, the cha- in a sofa? Yeah, they and, like, did. your feet out? Yeah, the, someone offered me um, $10,000 to lay down with clothes on to have my feet out. And I politely said no. To that ten thousand dollars? Would you do it for ten thousand dollars, dude? A picture. I, of your obviously, feet? no. I said dude, it's, it's a picture of your feet, though. That is so weird, though. That's bro. so it is, weird. It is weird. I wouldn't do it, but it's. Still I a feel lot like of money. you would do it. You literally just said, "Dude, would you not?" Do I it? wouldn't do it. He just likes to stir the pot. He yeah, does. I just like to he stir does. The pot. It's what he's good at. It, it is. So, it is definitely what he's good at. With all those creepy DMs, Brandon, do you feel famous? Um. No, I, I don't feel famous. I feel like a D-list internet celebrity, if I'm being honest. I think it is cool, though, like when I go to away basketball games or home basketball games and people will go to the game just to see me afterwards, even though I don't play. I mean, that's a pretty cool experience. Or I'd go to Publix and get recognized. Or I, I think it'd be... We did what? I came to your basketball game just yeah, to see you oh, after. Did. I was there. We wore matching PJs. We did wear matching PJs with, with Feet Finder Jesse. We did. <laughs> Jesse was there. <laughs> it was great. But no, I, I don't really feel like a celebrity. I, I think it's really cool, though, that I am making an impact on younger kids and especially younger athletes and inspiring them that, hey, if I made Grinch. Division One, so can you. So I, I think Grinch. it is. I think it is pretty cool. What are you saying? <laughs> That's a cringe. What? I'm being honest. Okay, okay, okay. That was very wholesome. That was very wholesome. That was very inspirational, Brandon. Thank you. Thank so, you. We, we I try. I try. I try to be inspiration for the youth, like these. So two. you don't feel famous, but do you enjoy the content you produce? Yeah, 100. percent I think it's, I think it's fun making videos, and it's you know making videos allow me to meet guys like you, yeah. and build some friendships. So I think it's it's cool. Do you it's ever not cool. enjoy your content? Has there ever been a video like what's the one video that you're like ashamed that you posted? Any videos at <sighs> all that were really bad? There's one for sure. There's got to be one. There's got to be one. I don't know. I thought the, the googly moogly ones are pretty questionable. Oh, um, yeah. Those mine are. was worse than Yeah, yours was much worse than the one I did. Yeah, but mine did good. <laughs> <laughs> it did, did, did really good. At the end of the day, that's all that matters, nah, right? I, I, my favorite video of Brandon, well, it's on my page, but I had to stick, stick out his gap for the Rizzler. I lost a bet, and I did He didn't it. lose a bet. He did not lose a bet. I lost a bet. He did not lose a I bet. I lost a bet. He voluntarily made that. Here... Right now, I'm putting my foot down. You can't see it. My foot is down. I lost the bet. Show Brandon, us the feet. I <laughs> go on a feet finder. <laughs> Brandon, <laughs> Brandon I promise you, Brandon, Why you, you promise- did it voluntarily. He did it voluntarily. I just fil- finished filming a video for him, and I'm like, yo, I have a good idea. He's like, bet. Let's do it. I'm going to stick out my gap for the Rizzler. Do you hear what you just said right now? You didn't say it like that, but you did do it voluntarily. Did you, no, did you hear what you just said? Do you remember, do you remember when you made me do the, the ooh, ooh one? <laughs> I was oh my god, that, I remember that. that. Give us a recreation. I'll hold your mic. Do an uwu for us. Do a little, like, as good as you can. So it was like that, right? It was like, ooh, ooh, Somewhere there. There you go. Ooh, yeah, yeah. I couldn't believe you made me do that either. I, yeah. I definitely have some. On my page, I don't think I really have any questionable videos, but on your two pages, I think I definitely have oh, a couple sure. questionable yeah. videos. You did. You, there was a good period of time where you were getting into the dancing just as much as we oh, were. Absolutely, we absolutely. That's, that's, that's all we do. What's worse on our pages? I just have more. I need a Max Ween. Gibson made a video that made me want to die one time, but he deleted it, so you guys probably haven't seen it. Gibson, you did? You made the need a Max I, I used that sound. I didn't do I didn't. like. I, w- I want to do the, the ladies with gentle hands one. Oh, ladies, ladies with, with gentle, gentle hands. hands. I did that one too. I'm going to make that yeah. video. But no, I really don't have any videos I really regret making. 
I think my I mean, content not is very family friendly. Like you cringe at them. Like I don't. Oh yeah, my, my old videos from like over a year ago. I super cringe at them because I think really? they're so poorly made. Yeah, mm-hmm. I mean like, that's one thing though. But I don't know. No. I actually have this little segment that I want to add to my podcast. To make okay. It a little unique. I want to start off every single podcast with an intro song, and I want our guest to sing it in the background. So right now, for us, could you sing your favorite song, like the little chorus of it? What is my favorite song? What's your favorite song right now? I don't know my Good favorite Googly song. Googly moogly, that dang mm-hmm. is juicy. Come on. <laughs> I have heard Gibson. He has a phenomenal right, voice. Listen, if you guys pick a song for me, I'll sing it. What's a trending TikTok song? What about that? What is it? Oh, what's the song we just, the video we just made? Uh-huh. You sing it then. It's like, it's like, walk in the room. I don't know the rest. Walk in the room, I'm going. This is the worst thing. Sing it. I need done. you to sing it. This is going to be the intro song. This is the intro to the podcast. You realize if this is the intro, everyone's going to click off. No, no, no. Just sing. Walk in the room and I fly like a million fireflies all night. Yeah. Uh, oh, that's about it. That's there was about no it. enthusiasm. There was no enthusiasm. Yeah, it's, that's not my favorite song. What's your favorite song? No, Mike, I shouldn't have said that. What's your favorite song? I shouldn't have said that. I don't know what my favorite song is. Mine is have, Drifting I've, Away by Michael Zidell. Drifting shout out Michael away, Zidell. Drifting oh, away that? from me. That's your. That's our cameraman. That is our cameraman. Shout out Michael Zidell. Shout man. out. He makes some music too. Yeah, he needs to. He's been lazy. He needs to make some yeah. music. So good. Hope he's having a good day though. Shout out Michael, man. I was just with Michael yesterday actually at the beach. Yeah, I heard you guys were at the beach. <laughs> yeah. You know, he, he texted me. He was like, I'm on my way down. I was like, oh. The beach right. is nice, but you're from a place that doesn't have beaches. So It is true. How is Florida compared to where, where are you from? Delaware? I'm from Delaware. Good old Newark, Delaware, baby. Shout out to 302. Uh, I love Florida. It's quite nice down here. Yeah. What are the what are the things Delaware has that Florida doesn't have? And what are the things that Florida has but that Delaware Well, doesn't? Delaware has my home, uh, all my family, all my friends. So that's definitely a perk. That's where I grew up. But down here is 80 degrees every day. We've got a beach 20 minutes away. Um, I'm close to Tampa. I'm close to Miami. I'm close to Naples. We got a lot, a lot of different stuff down here that I like. And we got FGCU, of course. Would you ever move back to Delaware? No, I really don't want to move back north at all. Uh, I, I like living in the south. I like the climate. And everyone down here is so nice, except for you two. But everyone else is pretty nice. We, we love you, Brandon. We're <laughs> just, actually we were just very nice. Hey, no, we're joking. I'll we're joking. I'll, I'll, hey, man. But speaking of love, Brandon, you haven't found love in five years. But. A lot of people think. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. Hey. a lot of people. <laughs> it's just him. It's not. Wait, wait, wait. You know, I'm, I'm rocking with Gibson. I'm uh, a lot of people think that finding love for a D1 athlete is super easy, and I'm sure it is helpful. So when you walk around or when you talk to girls, do they kind of just melt when they see you? Like I, I, bet, it's melt. I bet it's harder to find love as a D1 athlete because no. you've got all these girls that just want to use you for like. Oh, yeah, I, 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 I would agree with that. I think I think being an athlete and I think having clout on social media makes it hard to find a trusting a woman girl. a genuine and trusting woman out there so i got to be careful with who i talk to as i they more than likely have an ulterior motive brandon i'm genuine oh i know you're genuine That's i know why. you're a pretty pretty good boy brandon but i'm pretty i'm team? a pretty good boy being, being around your team <laughs> i'm pretty good boy what, you, what we're kind of asking brandon a lot of questions but i was just thinking they're having like a boxing match i say <laughs> we turn that boxing match into a duel to be a co-host because right now we don't have an official co-host for unsafe haven it could be one of them they're both down Gibson, I have an idea. How about we kick Haven off Unsafe Haven? Yeah, honestly, and me and it should just be... <laughs> because I, I don't know. Just because you have the namesake doesn't mean that me and you just turn this into our podcast. Yeah. How do you, uh, let, let us know in the comments. Would you rather <laughs> just be me and Gibson and kick out Haven? Or or would you want it to be Haven and that, me or that, Haven and Gibson? Let me oh, know. Yeah, yeah. Let me know if you guys want know. Gibson or Brandon as co-host. Or Brandon and Gibson. Because, That's not happening. Because don't he, even comment that because it's impossible. All right. Well, no, this is this is our podcast. 2020 never. This actually. is now our podcast. Okay, are we taking it We've over? hijacked the podcast. Bye. <laughs> okay, I'll leave. All right. Later. <laughs> And welcome back to another episode of Unsafe Brandon and Gibbs. What's you know? a day in your life look like? Like with workouts and stuff like that to maintain shape, but just like a day in your life, what does it look like? Uh, I, know you, oh, I know you started your videos. Your very first video ever was Day in the Life. Mm-hmm. Ab- so absolutely. Give yeah. us a rundown of your day August, in the life. August 25th, 2022. That was my first video. It was a day in the life. POV day in the life. I walked out on my phone. But like a, a typical day is I'll do a non-game day. Let's say I'll wake up at... I'll do Tuesday because I have class on Tuesday. I'll wake up at like 8... I'll head to class from 9 to 10, in-person class, and then I'll have lift from 10.30 to, let's say, 12, practice from 12 to 2, then we'll watch film because we're in season about the team we're playing. Uh, let's say that's like 2 to 3. I'll get treatment after practicing, practice and lift. That's like 3 to 3.30. And then I have homework to do and then eat some dinner, 
hang out with you guys, film some TikToks. How is filming go to bed. for you? Like, how do you film? Do you film a bunch of videos at once or do you like film the day you post, you film it? How does your filming process go? Uh, it, it, pretty busy. It kind of depends. I mean, it's pretty much whenever I'm free, I'll, I'll try and bang out a bunch of videos at once. Unless I have like a really good idea that I want to get done in the moment, I'll try and get it out the same day. But more times than not, like once or twice a week, I'll go to the gym and I'll just film like 15 videos at once. 15 videos at once yeah, is crazy. I, I got to get my week's content. How often do you have to post? I post three unique videos on TikTok. I'll do two videos on Instagram Reels. A day? A day, yeah. And then I'll do, I started doing Snap Spotlight. I'll just post all my old stuff there. And then YouTube Shorts, I've started, I post like five times a day. Sheesh. You post five times a day on YouTube Shorts. Mm -hmm. Throughout the day, yeah. What is the best? Yeah, I gotta catch right up. Now, I gotta guys. catch up. You guys are so ahead of me. That's actually crazy. Yeah. yeah. Well, you just started YouTube. Yeah. Well, because I have I have so much content backed up oh, yeah. that like I, I can afford to do that, and like yeah, it'll yeah. take me like six months to catch up with my sure. everyday content. What's Good. the best platform right now, though? I don't. I think TikTok's low key. YouTube slowing down. I think YouTube. I think YouTube be. is the best platform. Ooh, Snapchat too. Yeah, follow me on Snap, BT Dwyer three. Uh, I post every day, every every daily content behind the scenes every day. Follow me on Snap. Add me on Snap, Haven underscore Law L O U G H. Oh, no one knows how to say my last name, bro. I don't know. I didn't. Howie, I didn't say know. Say my last name. Say my last name. You just said it. I know oh, I it's it. Law, but like if you, I would say Lau. Everyone Lau. says Lau. I know. Bro, it's Lau. L. Nobody. It's L O U G H, right? Yeah, L O U G H. That sounds like Lau. Guys, my name is Haven Law, not Haven Lau, not Haven Lof. Haven Law. Lof. And this is the Unsafe Haven Podcast. Kid, we know. Congrat <laughs> Congratulations for name dropping your own podcast. <laughs> <Just name dropping. laughs> yeah, no, everybody pronounces my last name wrong too. I don't know how to say it. Wait, wait, actually, they, they think it's like something Ardeline, but it's Avenue. <laughs> I don't understand why they. I thought I, always, I knew it was Avenue. Gives an Avenue. avenue. Yeah, it's yeah. Where do they get? There's no V in there. What? Is there a V in your last name? Yeah, it's Avenue. A E V N U E. Avenue. Isn't it? Ar no, it. Wait, okay, are, you, okay. are you lying? Yeah, what, I actually don't know your last name. What is it? It's Artaline. So my TikTok is Wait, wait let me see if I know how to spell that. Is it Artaline? It is Artaline. A R D O L I N E. Yes. Yes. But a lot of people a lot of people read it like how it's spelled. L I N E line and they still go and pronounce it Artaline and I don't understand that. It doesn't make any that. sense to me. How, Why is it in your TikTok username? Why are you Gibson Avenue? Because that's just how it originated. I don't know. Are you actually Gibson Avenue? I've on, never on noticed TikTok, that. It's, on TikTok and YouTube, it's Gibson Avenue. On Instagram and Snapchat, it's Gibson Arlen. Give us a story Guys, time. should... I don't know what to do. I want to rebrand and just be one thing. Be our, I think you should be Avenue. I think I should be Avenue. You think I should be Avenue? Dude, because more people know you on TikTok than anything. But I want the, the username. Like, I don't want to change it. I don't know. I want my name. Because, like, for in the future, for longevity, I feel like Arlen... Well, yeah, better. longevity, Arlen is better... It just depends what you want because, like me, I have beat some, some type of beat wire for everything. Yeah, I know. So I, I don't, I don't know. I didn't, I never realized that. I mean, mine is Gibson A for everything. It's A something. Yeah, we. Got, I would make it. I would make it. You, Mine's the Haven same. Law. Thanks. Congratulations, Haven. It's Haven Lolf. 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 I just feel like Ardeline is so. Ew, long. Bro. <laughs> is spitting gross? My girlfriend always gets so mad at you when I like spit into bushes. Uh, I'm not. I'm, a, like, I'm not a fan of. I mean, if I have like a loogie, I'll spit. But like, don't just. Loogie? Like when you have like spit. <laughs> phlegm. That was it's called disgusting. Phlegm. It's called phlegm. It's also called a. Well, I'm, I'm from up north. It's loogie. Oh yeah. What are some northern terms? Hey, what do you um? What's you, that thing you, you say? Uh, <laughs> hill. Um, what are you calling a pill? Yeah. Oh, we're going to get to that in a second. But do you know what John means? Yeah, no. the toilet. Are you serious? What's John? Sitting on the John. <laughs> are you serious? Yeah. Another? John. How would you spell John? J-O-N. How would you spell it? Depends on the context. What John are we talking about? Like, like look at that John. Look at that John over there. It's like J-A-W-N. See, he, yeah, he gets it. Do you What's know what mean? John is? Mm -hmm. like, look at like, that it's John like, It's like a there. name for like a girl. Like a hot girl? Uh, yeah, like anything. abroad. I yeah, like abroad. Yeah, like abroad. I wouldn't use it like that. You know what a jit is? Like yeah, that's like a that's like a kid, right? You're, you're, my, you're my jit, but I'm also your jit. You yeah, get it? I am your. Yeah. Do you get it? How I, you're my jit, but I'm also your jit. Because I'm older than you. But I'm taller than you. Someone's your jit We're if you're taller jits. or older than them. We're equal jit. So if you're taller than We're someone, you can call them a jit. I'm, Gibbs, I'm and double. Older Gibson's than them, double my jit. You can call them a. Jit. Oh, Gibson, just everyone's jit. Gibson's everyone's you're jit. That's alright, Gibson. It's alright, Gibson. Bombaclat. Uh, but you were talking about pill. Is that what you're saying? I was, and then uh, I was actually talking about John too, and then Haven just yeah, you know, so pill, rudely though. interrupted me. Pill, and he just did it again, guys. It, well, I don't know if I'm coming back. You can be the, the co-host. Thank Brandon. you, thank you. The, I, the I, name, the I might, name. I might be resigning after this episode. 
So just because the podcast is named after him doesn't mean he can just interrupt us like yeah, that. Yeah, you can't interrupt that. your guests. Otherwise, I'm not yeah. coming back. So. Or actually, would, would we both be co-hosts? You, maybe. Do you guys want them both to be co-hosts? That's going to be the yes. So you realize if they vote, that's going to be the yes. Yeah. Or it's going to be you not be here. It's going to be that or <laughs> you're gone. Yeah, I vote kick Haven out. <laughs> um, but Pill, back to, back to Pill, of course. Uh, pill means, is another name for the basketball. Oh, uh, it's like swing the pill. Uh-huh, sure. <laughs> or like shoot the pill or pass the pill. Hey, no. that's, that's another thing that uh, pill what's, means. The, what's the other meaning for pill that you told us? Well, You, you can tell us on Unsafe Haven. It, We're a little it, bit edgy. It, stop saying edgy. No, because I said to bring edgy the other the thing. Pill. If you say edgy, it's going to make him say the other thing, and then it's going to spiral again. All right, hey, Brandon, edge listen. the pill, bro. You keep edging my pill. So <laughs> <laughs> All right, that was good. Just, just talk about pill. The, pill is another term for a male's private part. Uh, you're... You guys know what I'm talking about. That's another name for pill. So professional and I, and over I, here. And I put, I am. And I, I have a family friendly brand. We're all family friendly. You are not. <laughs> what do you mean I'm not? <laughs> I I'm am. so friendly. Gibson friendly. Is. I'm so friendly family. Family friendly. <laughs> friendly family. I said friendly family. But yeah, pill is, they had never heard of that before. I guess that's a northern thing. Mm. Uh, yeah, so I put them on to uh, pill. Pause. So yeah. Mm. With all these pills and creepy things that you're saying to me. I remember how we talked about how you had a creepy DMs, but what's the craziest fan interaction you've ever had? Uh, I don't know. That's a good question. Uh, pro- probably out of way games. Uh, we played Kennesaw State this year at Kennesaw State, and the band at Kennesaw was not a fan of me. They were not fans. They were not on the bench mob. They, uh, during timeouts, instead of playing their instruments like they're required to do, they would chant chair boy at me. Because oh at, not even at, bench boy, just not chair even just boy. chair boy, because for a couple of reasons. One, I sit on a chair. I sit on a chair the whole game, and two, during timeouts, I you know the little tiny chairs. I carry those chairs oh to set it up for the halftime thing. Oh. So when I'd walk over with the chairs, they'd all chant chair boy. So I'd, I'd put that up there as one of my Man. crazier fan interactions. So shout out Kennesaw yeah. State fans. So you're calling them fans? They're haters. Absolutely, though. they're I mean, haters, but they're fans. They're, yeah, they're, they're haters. Yeah. All, all fans are ha- all haters are fans. I would agree. Yeah, with that. in one way or another. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. That's that's why I appreciate the other student sections. They mm-hmm. they give me a lot of content ideas too. Like one of the best things anyone ever said on me is that I'm making a career out of not having a career, and I thought that was one of the greatest <laughs> comments cool. I ever got. So. Yeah. Shout out that fan at a Queens last year for saying that. I don't think anybody else has has done that in the basketball scene quite like you're doing. No, yeah. not not really. I mean, there's a couple other bench players in my position that are starting to make content, but I was kind of the first that really blew up with it, and it's kind of a cool title to have that yeah. I'm the most popular bench player in the Started country. A movement. Yeah, triple zero. Three, triple zero, baby. Dang. That was the OG. That was the OG nickname. Yeah. Triple zero. Speaking of your crazy fan interaction, me and Gibson had a conjoined fan interaction one time. We were in Clearwater, Florida, mm. oh my this God. vacation place on this beach. We're just walking in the street, dude. A girl who was older than us at the time sprinted across the street. Doesn't that mean she's two, still older than you? Yeah, older than that. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> she changed. S- she sprinted across two streets because she saw us through a window to uh-huh. like take a picture of us and stuff. And then she ended up getting Gibson's snap. But was she valid? Was she a John? Was she a valid John? She was a John. Did she get your pill? <laughs> Did she get the pill? I don't think she got the pill. He's smiling. That question will not be answered on the podcast. Answered or asked on the podcast. No, it'll be asked. It'll be no, asked. It won't be asked. It will be asked. We're on safe haven. No, it won't be asked. We're edgy. <laughs> Stop we're saying asking. we're edgy. Or just say he's just asking if she got the pill. If you have to, if you hold on, if you have to like explain that you're edgy you are not edgy yeah. <laughs> like if you we're on guys, safe, i'm haven and we're edgy <laughs> we're on i'm haven and we're here at unsafe haven and we're edgy guys we say the <laughs> we say the deep and dirty topics <laughs> what? we should be called yeah safe he's haven. family friendly though I, mean, I think we should just change it to safe haven but then that's like not edgy <laughs> <laughs> i would go with safe haven i like unsafe I, haven I, I don't care. We're going to call this Brandon Gibson after this You know what's podcast. not safe and not secure? Bro, TikTok. I got permanently banned. Like You guys both did. We both, we both yeah, did. Yeah, I, I did too. Yeah. It's crazy how it can get taken away like that. Do you are know you, why that you, happened? No idea, but are you really scared of that happening? Because I, th- I think that's always like in the back of my head, like if for no reason, because I, I know I wouldn't do anything to like, you guys didn't do anything to get banned, Yeah. which is why it's always in the back of my head. Like, hey, one day they could just take away my account and I can never get it back. I think that's, was, that definitely is a scary it thought. It was all the mass reporting. It was when the beef was going on, Team Haven, Team Gibson. That's so right. all the Team Gibson people reported him and all the Team Haven people reported him. Do you think that's him. what it was? 
I feel like, the, I, I I think that's, that's the only explanation. Only explanation. Yeah. I think that's what it was for sure. What? Because it was right after you made that video about Jesse, and Jesse was like huge advocating for like Tim Gibson, Tim Gibson. <laughs> why? Why did you guys do that? What do you mean? Can we talk about the beef? The beef for a second. Why are you quoting it? It's because real. it was not real. Can we what talk? Can we talk real? about? Can we talk about the fake beef for a it second? It wasn't fake. Brandon, Brandon is the one that was he was, was the with first you one filming. for the beef. You were where, there when the beef started, Brandon. I, I've been there for the the beginning, the beef, and now the no Brandon, longer. Brandon, you were the main subject other than the two of us in the beef. I was. Yeah, everyone, yeah. Thinks Ga- everyone thinks it was Gabby, but it was actually you, Brandon. You, you, know, you know what's You cra- were the you dividing know, you factor. Know, you know what's crazy? You were the reason we had the beef. You know what's crazy is, I had no idea who he told me we were filming that video. Uh-huh. That was not the uh-huh. idea. He told me we were filming. He's trying to seem innocent now, but no, he's, that's not he true. Basically, started Brandon, filming Brandon, the video. Are you trying to tell me that this entire time you were Team Gibson? All he told me to do. Can you hold this real quick? This is what he told me to do. He said, "All right, we're gonna film a video," and he said, "This is what we're gonna do. We're gonna do this." And I did that. And I'm like, "Okay, do you have an idea?" And he's like, "No, I'll, I'll figure." It. I'm like, "All right, cool." I go on my for you page <laughs> the next day, and I see that I that you now have beef I've replaced yeah. Gibson and and then it's just spiraled and now Gibson went on a date with Gabby and it just went downhill from there yeah that so. was flaw that was really flaw when you did that that's what really made was, the beef real was it, was it good eats though was it good eats it was good eats there yeah. we go it's all in <laughs> day. it was good, were good eats. eats all night good eats well I'm glad you guys all have night. Squ- all what do you mean by all night <laughs> what do you mean okay buddy I, uh, that's what really spiraled the beef Brandon started it I and did not Gibson, start the beef. Gibson fine. You it. you threw me into the beef without you, me knowing you, there was beef. Gib, Gib, you know what Gibson did with my girlfriend though? Ignoring Brandon. That's right a now. crazy statement. <laughs> That's a crazy nah, statement nah, nah, to make. He told her that they were gonna plan some surprise birthday party for me, right? They didn't go to dinner to talk about it, and he told her there would be other people there too. She shows up and it's just him. Is this, is this true? Did you really yes, do that? bro. I never agreed to you creating this false story of about the beef. That, bro, no. My comments were crazy for the next, like, two weeks after that. <laughs> they were so they bad. Were crazy. You'll be okay. They were crazy. Everyone's asking me, dude, like, what happened to Gibson? Did he you replace even, Gibson? No, no, no. no. When, we, when we did that, when we did that, he didn't even ask me. He just captioned the video. He was like, guys. And he made the whole story. That's he what he does. Ask me. He didn't even ask me about it. Like, yo, dude, like. For the storyline, like, can I do this? That's what I'm saying. You just smeared me so hard, and See, then I never. See, clearly, me. I had, I just had the same story, and Gibson had the same experience. So clearly, it, it happened. You did not tell me there's gonna be Brandon beef. and Gibson podcast. No <laughs> way. Where did that come from? Team Haven on top, guys, always and forever. <laughs> can we, can we just stop the Team Haven stuff? The Team Haven thing has been done, but thank you. We won. Team Haven won. Anyways. Mm. I was technically team. You got so I guess banned for like two weeks. I spent so much time on TikTok, so it's weird getting banned. But bro, what is your screen time, Brandon? And you, Gibson? Let what is your guys' screen time as TikTokers? Okay, you I, guys have to watch so much content. What's your screen? Okay, time? I want to I want to preference this before I before I look at this. I go to bed every night watching YouTube, like falling asleep to YouTube, mm. and YouTube plays throughout the night. So I think that'll definitely affect mine. Ooh. But. Love daily average of three hours. Mine's like probably like ten hours. That's so cap. Mine's like ten hours. Serious? How do I look up screen time? How do you look that up? Yes, mine Friday was eight hours. Where where do you see that? Where do you see screen time? Type screen time. I did. Daily average three hours thirty minutes. Oh, Oh, six hours. That's because today. This today. Six hours. That's oh. Yeah, (laughs) eight hours. Eight hours a day. Seven hours. Six hours. Six hours screen time average. Honestly, I'm okay with that. So mine's the highest. Because I I would I would imagine like. Oh my god. Nine hours? <laughs> Last week was nine Dude, hours. Dude, you were on your week. phone for 17 hours on Wednesday. <laughs> oh, it must have been while I was off then. Look, I think it's like while I was 17 asleep. hours? Yeah, yeah, yeah that's, that's not possible. That means it was like while I was sleeping. Okay, that's why it's so hot. Productive, productivity and finance for 10 hours. Okay. <laughs> you were on TikTok for 22 hours. You didn't fall asleep I, on TikTok. I don't know what happened there. Okay. You were on Safari for 50 minutes? No, I don't. I don't go on safari. Why were you on safari for fifty minutes? <laughs> don't go on safari. Don't you have Brother, a girlfriend? You just exposed yourself. <laughs> right, I'm telling. I'm telling Gabby. <laughs> hey Siri, call my beautiful girlfriend. Oh, funny guy, funny guy, funny guy. Why is my phone ringing? What? <laughs> oh, <right. laughs> <I'm so good>. <laughs> <laughs> is is your TikTok the real you? I would say I would like to think so. I mean, I make kind of relatable content. Mm-hmm. So it, it is kind of hard to show my like real personality. I mean, I show a lot of the bench stuff, and that's a, obviously a part of my personality. But I would say so. I don't really put on an act for my stuff. I mean, especially like the talking videos I do. I, I try not to put on like a persona on the internet. Like, yeah. like would you would you would you agree? Yeah, I agree. But speaking of personas, dude, there are so many apology videos and stuff like that nowadays. That's all a persona. <sighs> Oh yeah, yeah. All, all, all that stuff. I mean, I mean that that's what comes to it. If you get in trouble online for doing something, the next 
step is to make an apology video yeah. and then to act like it never happened. Speaking of this, if someone gets canceled and you love their products, are you still using their products? It depends on what they get canceled for. And, and, canceled and my, for something really bad. But like, like, for example, Issa girl saying the N-word and then she has that very insincere apology that she posted. Well, I, I didn't know who she was is until she, until the whole she got canceled. So I was never really? like a fan of her stuff. She just I, mean, that's, I, I that's was not, never a fan, but I saw her stuff before that because she was popping off. Like the TikTok algorithm must love her because she was getting ridiculous views. Yeah, well, picks, well, picks well, well, that, well that, that would make sense why I probably never saw her just because my free page is more basketball stuff and more sp- athletic based rather than you guys which is probably more like just genuine tiktokers that's probably why i never saw her but i mean for what very genuine i mean from what i've seen over the last two weeks i would have to agree but i obviously don't know her personally or anything speaking of just a random person getting really canceled they did something really bad that you completely disagree with and i was a fan of them previously no no you just love their products Wait, what do you mean by their products? Like, say they you mean a like a brand or like, like let's say if you had merchandise or something. Yeah, merchandise. Okay. Would you keep wearing my merchandise if I got canceled? I mean, pr- probably not. But again, it depends what you did. Because okay, okay. can- oh, Kanye, 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 Kanye got canceled really bad, but I still wear Yeezys. I mean, I still listen Yeezys to- Yeezys isn't I, really him. Though. I, I think, like I think it's different because I, I, Kanye is my favorite artist ever. It's funny you brought up Kanye. He's my favorite artist ever. Really? But I don't- I don't agree with obviously the stuff he says, but yeah. I like his music. So Same. if I'm listening to something he did when he made um, the college dropout, he obviously wasn't saying the stuff he was saying yeah. then that he is now. So I feel like that's not a problem. Okay, what we'll about the music he's about to drop? He's about to drop this album called Vultures. I, I haven't liked his recent stuff at all. Oh, you I, re- really since, re- really since Jesus, I haven't really liked. Oh no, I like the life of Pablo. What am I saying? I like the life of Pablo, but outside of that, I haven't. Like any really any of his Will new you albums. Will you listen to his new music that he comes out? I mean, I'll listen to it, but I just think not even because he got canceled, just because I haven't liked his music. Mm-hmm. Like I, I like his old stuff. Like yeah. all of his old albums, I listen to daily. You know who I refuse to listen to, bro? Who is that? Lil Nas X. What he's doing is absurd. Is he? What, what's mocking. going on with him? He's he's because I because I've been seen on my for you page. It's completely is he, is, wait, mocking. Uh, he's the dude who like didn't he like slide down the pole? And one of yeah, the music videos. He tried to be like the devil, and then he like right. gave the devil a lap dance, dude. That's Lil right. Nox he did is, do that. Is so bad. Okay, I will say if I, I would not listen to, to him yeah. with, with what he's doing. That's like the guy. Like, but I was also never ago. a fan of him. So it's kind yeah, of it's a different a like yeah. like opinion. Like if Kanye were doing something like that, I'd have a real dilemma. Yeah. But Lil Nas X, I was never really. Exactly. I liked his one he, song. Yeah, he made Old Town Road. That's it. Yeah, yeah that's that's, that's all I know song. him from. Like back when he first blew up. The Old Town Road. I'm, I'm gonna, gonna ride to I think there was an alternate meeting to that. Why do you guys want to ride so bad? Anyways, he's talking about horses. Lil Nas X not might not be. I'm talking about horses. <laughs> I'm going to get very clear. I'm talking about horses. Next question. <laughs> I'm actually out of questions. That's basically, you guys have anything left that you want to talk about? Uh, not, not off the top of my head. No, this is fun though. Let mm-hmm. me know what you guys thought and if there's anything you'd like to change, who you want to be co-host. And thank you guys for tuning in to Unsafe Haven. I hope you guys have a great day and I love y'all. See you next week. Bye. Later. Weekly uploads every single week.